Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, we've got a special doozy for you today. We've got asked all the time, at least what, twice, three times a week, when are you doing pizza on the griddle? We've tried it in the past. We haven't been successful. I'm actually anti-pizza griddle. But today, we're gonna put three of them to the test. See what you guys think. Can I make pizza on the griddle? It's about to go down. You might be thinking to yourself, why in the world did you make a video if you're anti-pizza? I'm gonna tell you why. Because we promised ourselves when we started the channel that we're gonna to try to communicate with the people that comment to us because we feel like you guys are most invested. There's a huge following for pizzas on the griddle. We have personally tried them on um, ourselves. And personally, I just feel like we've been very unsuccessful. I'm gonna tell you why. I feel like the griddle does not get top end heat. It gets bottom heat. So you don't get that charred effect of like the browning of what a pizza mentally should be. I actually like my pizza just a hair darker than most. So that's a personal preference. My wife can attest that we've tried and we both looked at each other and was like, if you go through that much trouble, why not just put it in the oven? But there's some people out there that absolutely love pizza on the griddle. And there's some people out there that want to do pizza on the griddle. So we're going to showcase what we got today. You ready? Yep. Let's look at the ingredients. First, I know what you're thinking. This is the deal. Simple. You buy it at the grocery store just like we do. We're going to try that out. Second, we got a couple little flatbreads. We're going to try those out. And third, I've got uh, an actual pizza dough that's rolled out from Publix. This is raw dough. We're going to do our best with it. And we're going to show you guys what it looks like when you put pizza on the griddle and why you should or should not do pizza on the griddle. Keeping it simple today, cheese, pepperoni, and sauce only. What you add to your pizza is up to you. I'm not here saying that I'm the world's greatest pizza maker. And actually I enjoy other things on my pizza as well, but today's all about can I make pizza on the griddle? And which crust is the best? Yeah, you ready? All right, I've got my pit boss griddle on low. We've got our Cuisinart rack and dome combo. This is just the lower portion of it. I use it all the time. We're gonna set that up just to allow that crust to get off the griddle because remember, that's where your heat source is at, right? It burns fast, so you gotta be very careful. One thing I will say about griddles, uh, if you guys notice, we don't have our Camp Chef anymore. We've officially quote unquote sold it. It's gone. It does not have a hood. Um, that's why some of these pros and cons, when I talk about griddles and which one to buy or which one you guys might like, um, I like the idea of a hinged hood because now we can trap some of that heat in. So we've got a better chance of success today on a griddle with a hinged hood than we would with a, with no hood. All right. All right. The good people of Publix has some dough that's already kind of, uh, stretched out for you, kind of rolled, kind of like it. If you guys have a secret recipe, that's fine as well. That's not what this video is about. All right, the flat top's heating up. So this is my personal preference. You have got to start your pizza dough on the griddle one side before you flip it. It will never cook. I promise you, if you take this dough, add your sauce, add your cheese, and put it right on the griddle, it's disaster waiting to happen. So let's get this started on the griddle. I'm gonna add just a touch of oil on the griddle just to help that bread release. So you're almost like par cooking your raw dough. Now, could you use olive oil, garlic, rosemary, um, oregano, basil, um, Italian seed? You can do this any way you want to. The point of the video is show you how the doughs react, the best way to get to a better product by making pizza, so on and so forth. So that's what we're doing. So we're allowed basically our dough to cook about halfway right now. All right, it hasn't been long at all, maybe less than five minutes. Just goes to show you, see how much we're getting bubbles? That's a good sign. Our pizzas kind of start cooking. We're probably, Oh, we're in a good position. I think we're in a good position right now. Just like that. So now we're going to 
decorate this top. I bought just standard store-bought ingredients, just like you guys would see at your grocery store, just common pizza sauce. That's what we're gonna use. Pepperoni, low moisture, mozzarella cheese. I will say that I do think you can get away with thinner crusts on the griddle a lot easier than you can thick crust. We like our saucy. Here, let me try salsa. that sauce. We've never had that sauce before. Let me try a little bit. Mmm. That's good. You like it? I would buy that again. All right, I'm not going to overdo it with the cheese. Like I said, it's extremely hard for that thing to have 360 degree heat. We're going to transfer this to the griddle. And about the same thing, we're gonna let it cook for maybe three to five minutes, and then we're gonna rotate it and get it off the griddle top so it doesn't burn. This is the other sauce. So basically what we try to do is get that, that uh, dough to the idea of the dough right here, right? From fresh versus pre-baked. So we actually don't buy this dough at all. I don't know if we've ever bought in this dough. Bought in, is that a word? <laughs> Let's say purchased. Yeah. I've always got the fresh or done something different. We have been uh, kind of successful at biscuit pizzas where you take uh, like grand biscuits, roll them out, put a little cornmeal crust, and then turn around and uh, put pepper, smash them, roll them out, that's what I mean, and then put pepperonis on them and cook them. So I think you're a lot more successful. What do you think, half and half? Yeah, the kids like cheese. Maybe a little extra cheese for the kids. I don't know if you can go extra cheese. It ain't gonna ever want to melt. No work. All right, pre-made crust is going on. All right, we just got uh, one small naan. Same thing, cheese pepperoni. Hey, put the toppings on it you like. All right, let's look underneath. All right, you see the crust that we're starting to get? The browning, that's what we're looking for, okay? So now what we're gonna do is elevate it off the griddle surface so it doesn't continue to cook from the griddle. Allow that heat to come up a little bit. That's going to sit over there. Remember, on my pit boss, this is the cooler side of the griddle as well. Take a look at this. Let's get a little dark. That's fine. Same thing, right off the heat. Now we're going to close the lid and allow that heat to start circulating. That's how you're going to get that melted cheese. It's going to melt through the bottom, but ultimately, you know, I like that that just light browning where the dough get off. Oh. Alright guys, there you go. So look, we just elevated them all. The non bread didn't take long. The same idea, three to five minutes. I'm just watching the crust underneath. It really hasn't gotten any darker, so I'm gonna let that go. This is a hair darker on the bottom, which is what I like. We let it sit on there for a little bit more, a uh, couple more minutes. And now I'm just rotating the the um, the dough just so it has a chance to cook evenly. All right, so this is the hard thing to understand. This is why I always feel like pizza, although it can be done on the griddle, is it the world's greatest pizza? No. Should you use other alternatives? Yes. 
If you're going camping, is this a great alternative to do? Absolutely. Matter of fact, just do what you want to do. I'm just showing you the truth. Can a pizza be done on the griddle? Absolutely. See how the pepperoni's melting? The cheese is melting. You just don't get that 360. The pepperoni's really not curling. You don't get that dark color around the edges that you would think that you would get. So we're done. They're, they're basically, I'm at the point of no return. It's not going to look any different now and 10 minutes from later. But you don't want to overcook your dough either. Right? We're not making crackers. So I'm just going to slot it off. Just let that bottom hit that griddle just for a couple more seconds. Right before we take it off. All right, there you go, guys. One thing that my family does, I just like the little extra. We take fresh Parmesan cheese. Bob, this is the one time I do not use Parmesan cheese in the can, but to each their own. I just like to top it off. I microplane some fresh Parmesan. Love the nuttiness. Smells good, honey. Now the true test to see if you can wait long enough for the pizza sauce not to burn your mouth. All right. You can hear the crisp on the bottom, which is what you expect because it's uh, temperatures from the bottom. Some people don't like crispy pizza, which is another reason. I know you say you're anti-pizza on the griddle, but that looks pretty dang good, babe. I just said I was anti-pizza. Just anti-pizza on the griddle. Ah, you know, it's just one, it's like a personal preference. You know, some people swear up and down, they like this, they like that. You know, if I'm gonna take all the time and effort and ingredients and really make a pizza from scratch, from dough to a good, uh, like a homemade tomato sauce to all that, I just think there's other ways to cook it besides the griddle. That's why I keep telling you, it's not about whether or not you can do it, it's what the results are at the end, and that's what I think matters, right? So. Okay, hey, let's see which one's better. Nice little charred bottom. I'm okay with that. <laughs> mm. Ain't getting me today, devil. Uh-uh. So you think that was gonna be different? <laughs> Is it, can I have a bite or will it burn me? Now you're gonna have to blow and eat at the same time. And remember what's pizza in my finger too. Mm. Got that finger all the way. Mm. Mm. It's hot. It's hot. We got a little taste tester over here, little knucklehead number four. Oh yeah, if we're making pizza, you know though. Oh yeah, she's right behind the scenes telling me how to make her pizza. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's pretty good, baby. I just think it gets overdone on the bottom before it gets done on top. I mean, it's pretty good though. <laughs> you like it? I mean, We I kept it simple. It. That one sauce that we got, the, uh, the different sauce, uh, I thought was really robust and intense. I actually liked it uh, quite a bit. All right, and this is the non tortillas. You can put tortillas on the flat top. We actually use a different type of a uh, flat bread from Joseph Pita, I think is the company, or Joseph's. Joseph's. Joseph's is the company, and uh, we make it quite often. In the oven. But it's thin. It's like cracker thin. Mm -mm. I don't like it. Let me taste. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Nope. As soon as you've been into it, you just know the, di the yep. difference in the chew. Yeah. It's definitely more chewy. I like it. Good. That's the one that you're eating. And that one. I'm going to taste that one. Mm. Mm. Oh. I have to be honest with you. I'm extremely surprised about the pre made dough. If I had to do it all over again, I'm, if I was going to do it on a regular, I'd probably start the pre-made dough just for a couple minutes on one side, the original side, and then flip it just to help the cooking process. Would you say you like that one better than that one? Nope. You like, like that one I better like this than one. Is it because the chew 
the crunch. What? Why? Why? Why do you like the? Difference? I I just I like I like this dough option better. Huh? I like this one better. The little one? Are you kidding me? So I'll so uh, microwave queen likes this one. I like this one, and Knucklehead Junior over here likes the little one. It's unbelievable. That's why I tell you, hey, can you cook pizza on the griddle? Yeah, you can. You got to find out which dough you like. Play around with it. Don't over ingredient your pizza right it's just not made it's not built for it but ultimately you can have success i mean is it our deep dish pan dominoes no <laughs> don't tell them that though i'm subscribed <laughs> we like our dominoes <laughs> all right guys there you go hey she's chowing down it's dinner time we enjoyed making pizzas today what tricks do you guys have up your sleeve could there be something out there we don't know about? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Last but not least, find us on The Griddle Group on Facebook. Make this, tag us, tell us your secrets, and we'll do it. Peace. Peace. Peace.